Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 20 and we've got a good one for you today. Uh, as you can see behind me back here, the 77 Trans Am looking a little bit different. So uh, we went in here, we've updated the headlights on this car. And uh, so we're going to jump in there and we're going to show you how we did it. So before we get to the headlights, let's uh, finish up a few things underneath the hood. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and uh, mount up the radiator overflow tank. So that pretty much wraps up all of the major fabrication work, mounting everything, all of our major components for the car, uh, as far as the engine is concerned, is mounted. Of course, you've seen me there earlier. We welded in our mount and got our uh, tank mounted up. Now, this is for our radiator overflow. So we've got our hose built here that comes in from the radiator from there. And then you also have the overflow for the supercharger coolant. Uh, we made that hose as well, and it comes down and around and mounts back up here as well. Now this again is just a uh, simple little universal uh, aluminum uh, tank. It was about the right size that we needed uh, to just pretty, you know, mount that pretty much anywhere you want. We come up with a little mount there for that. And I think it looks pretty good. Makes it to where everything is reasonably serviceable. You've got your service ports there for your air conditioning, of course your overflow there, uh, coolant, and then coolant back there as well. So that, uh, and we also have our uh, windshield washer bottle mounted as well. And, um, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's hiding. <laughs> so if you come from this side here, you can see there, uh, that white bottle there is the washer uh, reservoir. And uh, we'll run our plumbing and stuff for that uh, at a later date once we um, put this car back together its final time. So we made a simple bracket here. We kind of remade the bracket that holds this uh, air intake tube. Um, so now it also mounts the washer bottle there and uh, comes over here and bolts into the uh, inner fender. So it's easy enough to get to. Um, you can still get to it there. Of course, we'll have to have a little small funnel to actually put fluid in there, but that really won't be that big of a deal. Uh, as you can see from any other angle, uh, when you're looking at under the hood, it's pretty much invisible, and that's the way I like that. So uh, we've got our power steering cooler uh, mounted up, and it is on the core support here behind the driver's uh, headlight. You can see there a little bit of the mount there on that. We'll get some more shots of that once we pull this uh, front bumper cover back off. And we also have our transmission cooler mounted. Uh, it is directly in the center and it actually mounts to the actual steel bumper and it comes over and we made a little bracket so it bolts up to our center support brace there as well. And you can see we still have to connect our lines over. Um, we can do that once we pull this bumper cover back off, make it a little bit easier. So we've got everything pretty much mounted where it needs to be. Um, only thing we're waiting on for the engine is... Uh, the fitting there for the air conditioning hose uh, to put the little sensor in on that and then just a couple minor odd and end things uh, but that pretty much wraps up everything under the engine bay uh, we've got um, at this point um, just kind of clean up some things there like I said cleaning up our hoses um, but that's pretty much it so now that we got everything under the hood looking pretty good, we're going to go ahead and uh, jump back in here on the headlight uh, modification. So we've got the driver side that we still have to do. We went ahead and modified the passenger side. We made all of our templates off of that side. And uh, so we're going to go through here and show you exactly what all is involved to put this OBS headlight into this Trans Am. So as you can see there, there's quite a bit of difference between um, the factory headlights and our new uh, Chevrolet headlight there. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to show you how to do this um, modification. We're going to remove the actual bezel or the grill here that goes around the headlight and uh, do away with the little divider bar there between the actual the factory headlights. So let's go ahead and uh, get the screws out of that and get it removed. So with our headlight grill out now we can remove this center bar here and there's a couple of ways we could do that you now you could take a cutoff wheel uh, grinder um, anything really to kind of cut this out but what we want to do is there's a little 
small edge there that we want to cut back to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an air saw and uh, I'm going to come in and just kind of cut uh, a general cut here. Then I'll come back with a belt sander and I'll sand back till we get to this edge direct right there. It's a really detailed cut. This is a brand new piece, so you really want to be careful um, with cutting this. Uh, you have one shot to do it, so you definitely don't want to mess it up. So now that we've got our factory bezel uh, modified there, we've got our little bar, division bar cut out. We're gonna go ahead and set this to the side and we're gonna go over to the car and remove the factory headlights. So as you can see there, we do have the uh, headlights removed. We'll remove the headlights, the buckets, the adjuster screws and the uh, return springs here, the little keeper springs uh, for both headlights. So with everything out of the way, um, the next thing we have to do is come in here and mark. Uh, we've got to cut this actual uh, piece out right here, the fiberglass uh, header panel for the headlights to fit, to get some room. We're going to have to basically reshape and rebuild this bucket here. So we're going to mark all the way around where we need to cut. Uh, we'll remove the bumper back off of the car to do our cutting. And as you can see back here, didn't really plan ahead too well. Uh, we'll have to remove uh, our power steering cooler here. We actually have to move it down just a little lower. It cleared the factory headlights, but uh, going in here doing this modification, uh, didn't really plan for that. So we'll actually drop that down a little bit and uh, do that. So while we've got everything off there, we'll, we'll take care of that as well. So let's talk about uh, headlights. What we're going to be using here is just a uh, this is just a stock replacement headlight for a OBS uh, Chevrolet truck. So like a 96, 97 model Chevrolet Silverado. Uh, you can get these off of eBay, Amazon, pretty much anywhere you want. So what we're going to do is the way these headlights work uh, is they have these two screws here that comes through and actually holds them to this rear piece. Um, we want to reutilize that um, this factory mounting bracket, but we have to modify it a little bit. So we're going to take and actually cut some width off of this. And then I have some very simple uh, brackets that we've made up here. And we'll actually come back in and rivet those. We'll uh, actually epoxy them and rivet them down to that. And basically all that's going to do is it's going to reshape and extend the headlight bucket so this can actually mount in there. And then we have our holes and stuff drilled here to where we can access the adjustment screws and the mounting screws for the headlights. We have this one for the top and then the one for the bottom here as well. We'll actually lay down in here uh, just like this. So we're going to go ahead and mark. Um, I think I have to take about uh, five eighths of an inch off of the top and about a half inch off of the bottom here. Um, so we're just going to take a Sharpie here, lay this down, keep it pretty straight. I've already got a little mark here that uh, I'm not sure if you can see that there. I'm just going to take and mark that needs to be there all the way through. And then the same thing on the bottom, taking about a half inch off of that. Just trying to keep that line somewhat straight. So hopefully you can see that there are marks. We're just going to take a uh, body saw there and we'll come back in and cut that line off. So 
So now that we have our mounting brackets trimmed up, we've got our plates that uh, we've already previously made. You'll notice here we've got a couple of pre-drilled holes here at the back. So this is just simply going to set back here onto this. And then we'll drill through with a 3 16 drill bit. And then we'll put a 3 16 rivet through there. And you can also see that that lines up um, our holes there to where you can get in here and remove the headlight or you have your adjustment screws back here as well. So we're going to take a 3 16 drill bit and we've got our plates there. This is for the top. We also have one here made for the bottom that will get put on. It'll mount up here like so. And so we'll get those riveted on and then we should be ready to mount that into the uh, header panel on the bumper. So now we have the uh, new headlight buckets that we made and modified. They're actually riveted in. And we put our rivets in from the inside down that way so there's no uh, interference with any kind of rivets coming down. But even, um, even so here on the back side, you can see that they don't really stick up all that much. But uh, when this goes into the car, all this will be covered by the other uh, decorative panel that we made to go uh, between there and the core support. So, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna get our headlight mounted back in here and uh, we'll put our grill back on and then we'll test fit this on the car and see how it looks. Now you can see there that makes a night and day difference, uh, so to speak, uh, on the front end of this car. Um, again, we're not just a hundred percent sold that the little trim pieces that we've made here, uh, around the headlight are going to stay. That's just a piece of sheet metal that we cut to kind of fill in the gap, uh, painted it black real quick, just to get an idea, may do something a little bit nicer than that. Um, but it gives us a general idea of what we need. So, uh, you know, year one done this years ago, uh, on some cars that they built, I always liked that look. Uh, that singular headlight there, uh, just kind of a little bit more modern look uh, for this Trans Am. Breathe a little more life into it. Uh, but anyway, it uh, looks pretty good. we have uh, pretty pleased with it. Not for the faint of heart, uh, you know, cutting up brand new parts and pieces to, to fit together. But uh, I think it's going to work out really well. Uh, let me let the, let the car down a little bit and uh, I'll show you what it looks like uh, from uh, the, under the hood. So now with the hood up here, um, you can kind of see how everything fits in. Now, you don't really have to. Uh, I chose to come in here and trim this core support up just a little bit. Uh, you can see here my little black line. That's where our, our piece that we made that kind of goes in here as a filler piece, that's where that lays. We still got to weld that hole up. And um, so I just kind of trimmed that out to give us a little bit more room there. Definitely don't have to. That sits down below that. Um, Kind of hard to see there in the video, but it does sit down below. Um, but then you have access there, like I said, to your adjustment screws and uh, to take the headlight out as well. Um, overall, uh, everything, you know, wasn't just terrible to do. Just a lot of, you know, planning and figuring. One thing that we did do is spend a lot of time uh, adjusting our brackets uh, before we riveted them on to the actual header panel there to make sure that it put our headlight exactly where we needed it to be so these cars unfortunately are not symmetrical from side to side so the templates that i had uh was very very close but had to trim them up a little bit to, to get them to fit exactly the way we wanted them here on the driver's side so so we're going to go ahead and be wrapping this video up here but before we do i was just going to give you a quick update of where we are on the car as far as our hours go uh, right now, at the end of this video, we're somewhere around 730 plus hours uh, of just labor on this car, not including parts and uh, materials and whatnot that we've used. So kind of gives you an idea of what goes on and how much time actually is involved in building a custom car. 
Um, so just keep that in mind. If this is something you're doing in your garage or if you're paying somebody to do this, uh, the hours that go into doing uh, modifications, just like what we did with the headlights, uh, all the metal work that we've done previous, the wiring, the electrical, every single system has to be touched on the card and it's just a lot of, lot of labor. So anyway, we appreciate you guys tuning in, man. Uh, keep leaving the comments down below in, in our videos. We really appreciate that. I like seeing the, you know, all the kind words and comments, so we try to respond back to them. So keep that up, and uh, hey, we'll catch you next week.